All right, Shalom. We're going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, and double honors unto our elder apostles and our elders, a great millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect out there of the nation of Israel. All right, this is the uh, GMS Houston camp. Okay, and uh, we just going into an open forum, man, and as we can see on the screen, uh, this is from Gateway Pundit. It says World Economic Forum. Okay, and when you think about the World Economic Forum, the first word is world. So this is not specified to one part of the earth. This is for the world, okay? It says World Economic Forum recommends humans become cyborgs, implant brain chips. There are solid rational reasons for children to be microchipped. Okay, so we're not making this up. All right, this is the, from the World Economic Forum. All right, as a matter of fact, I wanna put this up there too. Uh, World Economic Forum looks to normalize implantable tracking chips. So again, this is not nothing we making up, all right? And as uh, the apostles say, you know, we'll explain this in prophecy. Right. If what we're saying is the M to the O to the T to the B ain't what it is, well, then where does this fall into prophecy? What is this? Explain this through the scriptures. What is this about? Right. Human augmentation. Right. So, uh, you want to say something? Yeah, I want to say, uh, along with, you know, this being a world talk, the, the world is on the wave of going uh, digital concerning the central banks, the uh, C, yes. CB, uh, DC, central bank digital currencies. That's the wave of the world. And you can look it up, I believe it's 105 uh, countries that are exploring going into the uh, central central bank digital currencies and it's already 50 countries that are already up and pumping or in in it they say it actually says in advanced stages of the uh, CB CD you know and we, and that's all to get <clears throat> that's being done as we see on the world stage to get the people uh, prepared for what we're going into or what the world is going into on this world uh, economic forum. Right. See, it's a world economic forum. So they talking about, you know, the, the tag, the electronic tag, but it's an economic forum. So, you know, they, they go hand in hand, the digital, this digital way a digital currency wave sent by the central bank but you know and then this uh chip technology if i may also add yes, uh joe biden he just passed that bill uh, recently the uh 14067 bill right which uh got a real quick uh headline it says executive order 14067 ensuring responsible development of digital assets so as the brother was going into, that's the way of the future. That's the way that the powers that be, these Edomites, so-called white people, starting with the elite, the bankers, that's the new uh, structure of society. Right, and not just them, the whole, they ain't the brains of the operation, so right. to speak, but it's the whole world is in on this. Right. The elites of the, of the world, you know. Right. Can somebody get Revelation 3 and 10? And again, like we say, explain this mm -hmm. in prophecy. Right, that's it. Is, this this got to be, because this is a world thing. This is something that's being presented to the whole world. Okay? Whoever had it, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, Revelation 3 verse 10, because thou have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, mm -hmm. which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see there? There go that word world again. 
the hour of temptation, okay? They're going to present this to the whole world. When you think about uh, this, 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 this uh, pandemic that we still going through, you know, which they trickling off of that, mm. you know, what does the, the, the acronym WHO stand for? World Health. And what they pushed out was regulations for all over the world. The World Health Organization, they pushed, we was having to obey that over here in this country. Everywhere had to. So this is a world economic form. Mm -hmm. Talking about the economics of the world, the business of the world. And it's a digital business, okay, that they are, tri are, are about to fully come with, all right? And there's going to be something to come with that. Right. Yeah, so why is that article talking about, it's a world economic forum, mm -hmm. but in there they're talking about brain chips for children, except you can read the rest of the article, yeah. but it says for learning disabilities, yeah, you go down on that first paragraph, if, well, in fact, can we read it, just the of first course. paragraph, yeah. I think it's, it's the first sort of, really, the, going into the second paragraph right here, Okay. it says the brain chip will not only improve health by eradicating impairments like learning disabilities and depression which come from where esau see right it says but pave the way for humans to uh, attain superhuman cap uh, capacities mm. contends uh, in august uh, 16 our article published on the uh, world economic forum website yeah so why would well, this is world economics, but what does this got to do with economics? Hmm. And that's the that's the sales pitch right there. Right. This is what it can help. See, if y'all just go, come on and get on board, all your little crazy children that got all these problems, these these C hips is gonna help them. What they trying to do is have total control. Right. Ultimately, have total control, man. Okay, and you, these people that are going to get into this and live this way and true and fully accept this, they're they're gonna be completely tied in. The only way you're gonna be able to function in the world is being tied into that system. Right. May I read something real quick? Come on. It's just uh, this just off the Google. Uh, for a basic understanding of the, the CBDC, the Central Bank Digital Currency, it says it's basically the digital form of a country's fiat currency. Mm. And I want to bring that out there, bring it out uh, real quick. Yeah, so it's the digital form of any particular country that uses fiat money, which is fake money in the first place. It's the digital form. Right. They going to get rid of paper notes and coins. Okay? It, everything is going digital. This whole system is, our, is set up to go digital. Okay? Yeah, absolutely uh, digital. Yes. Because it's already, the digital uh, economy is already here on the scene. Yes. And what's the example of that? The cryptocurrency. Yep. Uh, or the blockchain with the different uh, digital currencies. Yep. You see? Yep. So, um, what prophecy? Uh, was in Revelation yeah, 3. yeah, that, yeah. Revelation 3 and 10. Somebody bring that out again. Okay. Uh, Revelation 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. And see, this is a prophecy. And this is what's about to come upon the whole world. Go ahead, I. Right? Which shall come upon the whole world. If you go into that world in Greek, that's an archivist. You be in the to the earth of the world. Let's see. Okay. To try them that dwell upon the earth. Yep. The earth. Everywhere, man. Okay. Yeah. Um, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I, I was going to make a point. So what's 
in the biblical prophecy or in the world, I'm sorry, world news, world events, world talk, what's, what's the big talk? And we see and we're going into it. I see. You see? The world is talking about this, this digital age, this yes. cyborg age. Yes. So now we have to see well, how does that fit into the biblical prophecy? Yeah. Because there's got to be somewhere in the scriptures. It's too. It's a world thing, mm -hmm. and it's 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 detrimental to being able to survive. So if you, the only way you're gonna make it is to receive that C hip and be a part of that B system. Right. That's the hour of temptation. Yes, it. Tempted with ultimately that that technology. Yes. That, that uh, electronic tag technology. Yep. So it's very important to know these things, you know, to have the understanding of these things because, you know, you got certain Israelites that are teaching that what is uh, spoken about in the book of Revelation 13 and 16, the Karagma, is not what that is. They're saying it's something else. They're saying it's Christianity, uh, uh, the, the embargoes, just madness. That don't make no sense. But still won't filter this through the scriptures. Well, what is this all about? You see? Y'all brothers have something? Go ahead. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So like it, brother. Bring it out again. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. That's right, man. And if you ignorant of the devices, that means you're ignoring the information that's out there. You're under you're ignoring the understanding that's constantly being pushed from Great Millstone through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? Who all the credit is due. To give us the understanding of what this is talking about. Right. You see? Because this is detrimental to salvation. If you take that branding and become the property of Satan, it's a wrap for you. Okay? If you take that, what it's speaking about in Revelation 3 and 10, you're going to be destroyed. And that's according to the scriptures, man. The Lord said you, you're done. Yep. You can have everything else right exactly. in the scriptures. Yep. But if you don't have the understanding on Revelation 13, yep. even this Revelation 3 and yep. 10, what yep. is that talking about? Yep. You know? Then you then you you're not gonna uh be able to withstand. If you don't know what it is and then they come with it, you know, and when they come with and when they do come with this full fledged these other camps, members of these other camps are going to say GM, GMS was right. Some of them, yeah. you know. Yeah. And we'll see, you know, but that's, you know, me speaking as a man. And, yep. And a lot of our people that bucked up, you know, that won't even accept the fact that they're Israelite at all. Right. They're going to know it was the truth, you know. You yeah, had some going to scare the shit out of the, out yeah. of the, uh, mm -hmm. out of the world. Because most Jake ain't with it, but to keep the lifestyle and to stay plugged in, so to speak, connected, you know, they gonna take it. Yes. But they not. You had a lot of Jakes wasn't with taking the jab. Yeah. But they got stabbed up. Ain't this to stay connected and plugged in to to keep it nine to five. Right. Yeah. A lot of them. Well, man, you know, but shit, man, I, I gotta get that chip. That's how they got you. You can bring out what you had out. Come on, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. And it says, The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Now, I'm glad you brought that out because the only way you're going to be able to resist it is through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's yeah. the only way. Because we can all sit here and say what we would and wouldn't do. 
Right. Right. We don't know what we'll do because first of all, the most high, he direct the steps of man. You know? Yep. So we can't say, you know, well, I know I ain't gonna take it. Right. You know, that's up to the most high whether or not he got it allotted for us not to take it, man. You know, Lord willing, nobody in this room take it, you know? Right. The the elect's not gonna take it. Right. Let's just say that. And that go that's uh that precept go hand in hand with uh Revelation three and ten. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Can say them that kept the patience of the heavenly father, the most high is gonna keep them yep. from yep. the hour of temptation. Yes. Yep. Right? Right. You know. Because contrary to popular beliefs, that decision is already made. Yep. Uh, right, know, right. Simple Jake just don't know that he thinks he's in control and that's why they sit there, well, I ain't gonna do this, I ain't gonna you, you have no clue what you're gonna do. Right. Because the decision has already been made what you want. Right. So the main the main thing is to keep the patience right. of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He said if we do that, you know, then you know he gonna watch he gonna keep us or watch us, give us the spirit to resist. You know, just oh uh first Peter, the first Peter one and ten, or the second second Peter one and ten. Give all diligence to make that calling and obedience yes. to it. Yes. So if you don't, you can't give all diligence to make your calling and election sure if you don't know what the MOT is. Yep. If you don't know what the image of the, of the beast is, if you don't know what the beast is, yep. you got to know all three. Yeah, who? Y'all got it. Yeah, Go ahead. Right? This is uh, Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower, the righteous running into it, and it's safe. And just to back it up, uh, how you were saying that the only way in how uh, the elect is going to be protected is through Yahweh Bashim Yashim. That's the only uh, uh, escape route that the elect have is to turn towards Yahweh Bashim Yashim for protection. Yeah. That's right, because we believe in the. Uh, we believe in the kingdom to come. So he started putting this, putting this act on as if he's going to take over the, uh, the world for eternity. And the Most High Night he wrote that that's not going to happen. Right. His bounds is set. Right. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. Uh, Job uh, 14, I think it's 14, 14 and 5. Let's get that, Brother Kusha. Yeah. Uh, yeah, get that. Yeah, real, you know, no, you can give say what you're gonna say. Joe fourteen and five, and also get Joe. Somebody get Joe five and twelve. I had that. Okay, come. I was gonna say the MOTV news coming out proves Esau at the uh, end of this. The MOTV news coming out proves Esau at the end of this. Uh, his bounds because when you go in Revelation thirteen, that goes into the power structure of Esau, and that was one of the last things that he was gonna do. So that shows me in those times. Right. Yeah. In the beginning of the chapter, it, go, it, it, it basically, when it goes into the beast, it mentioned the bear. You know, the bear ain't part of the beast, but the bear is going to be the, which is Russia, which is going to be the mechanism, the most high the used to take this man down, huh? The catalyst. Yeah, yeah. The catalyst to taking this man down. So it's going into the rise and the fall of the, of the beast. Yep. Yeah. Who had uh, had Job, uh, 14 and 5. Oh, you got it out? Oh, you get it. I'm talking about you coming. Come. Yeah, bring it out. Right? Come. This is uh, Job chapter 14 and verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are within thee. Thou hast appointed his, his bounds that he cannot pass. Right, and the scriptures tell us uh, his inward thought is. Yes. This right. man's inward thought is that his house shall continue forever. You know, so Esau is really bugged out. <laughs> he believes in the Most High. He knows the scriptures is true. And he knows that he has but a short time. But yet, I'm going to take over. And if the Most High, when he comes, when your house shot and angels is coming, we're going to fight. And they fighting to win. They not fighting to, right. to lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Even yeah, though they know yeah, that yeah. what the, the prophecy say. Right. You know? So Esau is really bugged out. But can you read that again or not? Come. Uh, 
Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined. Yeah, he bugged out to believe. Any man that anybody that believed that this plan will work is bugged out. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> this is crazy talk. But, you know, go ahead. Uh, the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. That's it. Yep. So Esau is at the end of his his rulership. Not at the beginning where he's going to establish this freaky cyborg world for eternity. Right. You know? Come. I just had a quick and to go with that. Okay. This is uh, Job chapter 20 and uh, straight. And I want to make, I'm sorry, you can let so, you get it out. And he can't go past the time allotted. Right. The most high uh, gave him. You know? Right. He can't go past that. Esau wants to go. Beyond. Above and beyond. Yeah. But he can't. No I matter how hard he like concentrate it. and focus and come together on these these world economic yep. forums and these, 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 these summits. These <laughs> Go ahead. Hold on real quick because it said determine. So I looked the word determine up. It say bound or limited, restricted. So you only got so much time. It's just like an hourglass. Once the sand come out and there's no more sand, that's the end of the, the sand pouring through the glass. Time's up. And your grains of sand is trickling down, man. So that's determined. He's already got it predestined to how far you're going to go. And then that's it. For a and, purpose? Yeah, yeah. That's What's the purpose, all right? Yeah, his purpose was to be the wicked, all right, to pursue after Israel, man, but over the others to bring glory unto the Heavenly Father. Yep. So this world can see him as they saw Pharaoh. Yep. It's yep. That, oh, nobody can take this power, uh, this power down. So when it happened, the glory is going to go to the Heavenly Father and you have a shot. See? Uh -huh. Right. The world takeover by Esau. Right. Scared the shit out the planet. How can this power be taken down? Is this the man? Is this the man? Yeah. You got you it. Got it like uh, this is uh, Job chapter 20 and uh, verse 23. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. So just when his plan is about to go, come to fruition, go into full effect, the Most High is going to strike that down and pull the rug out from under and uh like it says, rain down his fury upon him, man, because all hell's gonna break loose on these stuff. And he knows that. Right. But somehow, like he put in his movies, against all odds, somehow the hero come through and win in his mind. So in his mind, somehow he gonna he get some something gonna happen. Right. Only in the movies. Yes. Yeah, yeah, only in the movies. movies. So in this movie the hero is against him. Right. Right. Yes, right. The good guy is going to win. He's not the good guy. Right. And who knows what the scripture had in Luke that talk about uh, Satan falling as lightning. Oh, uh, yeah. And the reason I always want to bring that out real quick because going back going back into that uh, Job 20, what verse was it? 23. 23. Yeah, he's going to taste. He's going to taste the NWO because people are going to be getting tagged you know uh what else oh yeah yeah people are going to be getting tagged and when that happens we know that this man is at his, the end time is going to move on warp speed things are going to move super fast it's not going to be time is not going to like right now time is already moving weeks is passing days is passing at a, a crazy rate yes. it's moving fast you know See, so when that time comes, he's gonna even time is gonna pick up. Speed is gonna pick up. Whoever got it, bring it up. So in Luke chapter ten, verse eighteen, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Right, and lightning. When you see lightning come down, it it come down. I mean, at the blink of an eye, you, you right. half a blink is gone. You see, so this man is going gonna go down quick, right. especially in that time when he come on that uh, mandatory implementation of the 
MOTV. Yeah. Okay, where we was at? You had Joe, we had the uh, other one. The Joe 5? Yeah. Uh, this is Joe 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the, the devices of the craft mm -hmm. so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Right, we just read we're reading about uh going into that word devices is going into plans. We're reading about in these uh articles some of the plans, which is what? To put the world on a on a C uh C B uh C D. Was I said it wrong? C B C B C B C B Okay, I got it. My bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 central central bank uh digital currency. All right, and this uh brain chips. Yeah. Going after the children. Right. And they 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 cranking up the uh they hopping back. They already telling us that the C nineteen is is about to come back. So we can expect that and more plays, the monkey pox and all this stuff to uh, increase in these up and coming uh, months. Right. If I it's just real quick to uh, show that everybody's doing their part on all levels. I was looking on social media uh, yesterday and a little bit today. It's a whole lot of parents that are complaining right now because the infants in pre-K, uh, first grade, second grade, they all getting calls that their children are unruly and they're having problems with the kids and they saying ADD and all these other whatever. This next year. Yeah, and all that type of shit. So they putting it out there. They're already showing that this needs to be done because we having problems with these kids on a mass scale. So we don't have we don't have a loose solution, but we need one. And brain chipping just might be the answer. Right. Yeah. It's crazy how it all just falling because I was looking at that like, okay, kid just made me the ass with it, you know. Yeah. Stop feeding them sugar. Right. right. Exactly. Yes. Well, he's, the problem. he's giving them these conditions, you know, and then one of them is even depression. How is children depressed? Come on, you done just <laughs> pull the shit out of his ass. But you do got a lot of children depressed coming up in, in these horrible conditions. Yeah. Right. yeah. You know? Drinking so out of plastic. He's creating all the problems. Right. And then he's coming with the uh, solution. The solution. Problem yeah, problem, okay. reaction, solution. And the solution is become a cyborg. Right. We can treat yeah. these conditions. We can make you electronic better than you were before. I don't know y'all brothers ever saw the six million dollar man, Steve Austin. It's an old TV show. Yeah, that's how the how the show start off. They make the six million dollar man. They make him bionic. The bionic man. Yeah. And what they just did? They signed the first the electronic rapper. Oh, the, oh, the AI rapper. Yeah. yeah, I saw that too. You got a deal. Ain't that something? A computer beat you out, Jake, again. Um, uh, somebody get uh second Ezra fifteen. And one. Because this is what, this, the, and uh, get that spirit of prophecy too in Revelation. Somebody uh, get that. Hey, now speak on that uh, last scripture, Joel mm -hmm. 5 and what was it, 20, what was it? 12. 12. 12. Yeah, the most high gonna disappoint, I mean, disappoint, not disappoint, <laughs> disappoint, you know, all this man's plans. Yep. So all this world economic form shit and World takeover, digital, electronic tag takeover is gonna get upset. Yep. And that's what T D hopefully let believe in that. Yes. You know? In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall right. be in straits. Meaning a position of difficulty. Okay? He's gonna he gonna get it up. But in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. It's gonna get hard on him. All right, right now. Yeah, yeah. they're that straight. They going through the straight. <laughs> he no. started going to the straight through the straight gate too. That was uh, uh, on the left hand verse side. Verse twenty-two, the verse mm -hmm. about above what I read. I was going to bring that, but come going straight to the point. What we got? Yeah, Revelation. Uh, bring that one out first. Uh, this is uh, Revelation nineteen verse ten. 
and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's what we're supposed to be getting into, man. We at the end of this thing. We need... Our people need an explanation to what it what this stuff here is all about because this is about to affect the world in a way like it never has before. Right. When the hour of temptation come, Jake gonna be looking for the answer to like what what should I do? Right. To see and here go the answer. Mm -hmm. That's it. And it's been prepped through C nineteen. Yep. That was just a, a big trial run. Right. And now they pushing. Um, so they already they they putting in the minds of the people that the the rates the infection rate is gonna go back up and uh you need to get your boosters boosted his booster shot time. Yeah. So shit, Jake is ready to get stuck. Yes, again. Bring that script out again up. Okay, come. Uh Revelation 19 verse 10 And I fell at his feet to worship him And he said unto me See thou do it not I am thy fellow servant And of the brother And of thy brethren That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai mm -hmm. Worship Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai For the testimony of Yahweh Shai Is the spirit of prophecy Right The spirit of prophecy Seeing what this is before it happened Right and what's the testimony? Right. What is Yahweh Shai's testimony? It's it's the uh, the scriptures. So that's the uh, the key. That's the uh, the basis of the book. Yes. It's based upon prophecies. Yep. Because you can read it, really damn near every book in the scriptures that is prophecy in them. Start at Genesis. Go into uh, through the book of the Apocrypha all the way through the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. And you're going to read prophecies all over the place. Yes. Y'all brothers got anything? You had that second Ezra 15? Bring that out. This is second Ezra, second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. See there? Again, we're commanded to do this. To get an understanding of what these scriptures is talking about. To get an understanding of the things that are taking place on a global, well, really taking place, period. And a, a, what what does this pertain to in the scriptures? What What is this? Can you explain why this is going on with the scriptures? Right. That's, that's, we're commanded to do that. You know, we're not in the time of of worrying about things like the apostle be saying. What uh, did did David wear lace sandals or, you know, just miscellaneous stuff that don't got nothing to do with being saved, man. And it's imperative to understand, had an understanding of Revelation thirteen, of Revelation three. Yeah. Okay. Revelation 14. Yeah, yeah, Revelation yeah. Revelation 12. Yep. Because yep. these things can get you destroyed, man. Okay? Uh, so if y'all brothers ain't got nothing else. I may add. Go ahead, uh, I. Just to uh, add on to what the brothers are saying. Uh, with bringing out these prophecies. So we can give the uh, sense of what's going on. With uh, the most high word being fulfilled in the planet Earth. For uh, example, real quick, when the uh, CB came around, the camps that didn't preach uh, the what the corruptly is, some of their members got uh, the jump shot. Juice. And those members that got those jump shots, I know one in IUIC, he said he feel like the spirit ain't dealing with him no more. You're right. So bringing out these understanding of these scriptures, we um, are used as warning vessels from the most high to uh warn Jake from deadly situations. 
That's right. Taking this chip in Revelation 14, if you take it, it ain't no taking it out. All right? Like in the movies, they get your neck, they pluck it out some type of way. Look, you take the chip, you're going to be destroyed, man. The sea hill. So mm -hmm. we we here to stop all the confusion, which Esau pushes, just like he did with the 9 11 shit. Just a more fear, a boogeyman, every corner, every step of the way. Be scared, but I got the solution to protect you. What we saying is, no, the Most High is going to protect us. Just be aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And what he's using on the masses to get them all riled up and scared is his media. Mm -hmm. Cause he controls the media. He controls everything, man. Going back to brother uh mentioned Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. They in they got control over all of this, man. But they gonna get upset. The most high is gonna upset them. You know? They fear in the wrong reporters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So Y'all brothers got anything? Habakkuk. Bring that out, Ak. Yeah, we'll end on that. It's Habakkuk 2 and 1. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am approved. Somebody, what, what do we mean to stand upon your watch? Yeah. yeah. Be circumspect. Yeah. Be vigilant. Yep. Watch for the enemy. Yep. Look for the prophecies of the scriptures to come to pass. Yes. And warn Jake. Yes. Warn, warn my people, which are the Israelites. In pursuing to three and seventeen. Yeah. Yep. Bring it out real quick. Because the most high said it time and time again. Get them warning of me. Right. And that's what that tower represents, being able to see, being at a a high, high level, level, high level view, bird's eye view, to see in the distance. And yes. Then, you know, and you know when to blow the trumpet when you see the danger of yeah. Now I got I got to blow the trumpet to warn the city. Yep. You see it in those ancient timepiece movies. You have the 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 watchers way up in the towers at the front of the cities on all of the corners of the walls, and they watching out to see what's going on. And like the brother said, if it's danger approaching, then they sounded a certain alarm. You know, to give warning. You got it, out. Ezekiel cool. 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. Mm. And that don't even need breaking down. Oh. Today, that's, if I had, today, that spiritual talk, when we started with articles, going into different uh, news sites, watching different news clippers around the world, so we can know what's, what's also awesome right. going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. I pick back up the mm -hmm. two and two, and Yahweh answered me and said, "Write the vision, which are those prophecies. Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that reader. Yep. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. That's right. And though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right. We and we see." That the, uh, we see the last major prophecies coming into play. Yeah. Because why? Because we are on our uh, tower. We're watching the, what's going on in the world. See? Yeah. What's that? Ephesians 5 and 15? Mm -hmm. Be circumspect. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how we know it's not a lie. It was, once the prophecy comes to pass, but then when you see the prophecy, okay, that prophecy is about to happen. Yeah, it's manifesting. We see these yeah. events taking place leading up to the fulfillment of the prophecy. Yeah. Right. It's just like how I said, you know some are coming and one are coming by the sign. The yeah. start blooming. You right. Know some is not. Exactly. So just like we know the market, the, the, the Karatma is about to be established based off of the sign that's going on. We see CBDs. We see where economic forms yeah. talking about yeah. digital assets. These are the different signs to let us know the prophecy is about to be fulfilled. Another sign is that Lord Yahweh is about to take Esau down. That's, and right. that's what our ultimate hope is in. Yahweh is uh, defeating this man. And yes. the scripture says when the war in heaven happened, Esau and the beast didn't prevail, which Esau is the right. beast. 
So it's how you gonna lose, man. Right. So our mindset is we focused on what the most high got to say and what we should do in his eyes and not what you tell us to do because you're gonna lose. That's right. What we do what a loser say, you gonna lose. Nobody don't want to be on the losing team. Nobody want to lose. Losing effort. Oh, man, I can't. I want to get out there and lose, man. Right. Yeah, we didn't have enough of that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Shit. Yeah, we didn't have enough of losing. No. Uh, y'all brothers had something? So with that, man, we're going to close. And Lord willing, this was edifying. You know, just getting, getting into these prophecies. Because this has to be explained. Okay? Through the with through the scriptures, okay, because measuring the time diligently within itself, you gotta measure the time. Well, what what time are we in if this thing is going on worldwide? Right. Because this is what's spoken about in the end time. So there we are in the end. So. With that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. And double honors again unto our elder apostles, our elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. To, to the next time we say Shalom. Shalom.